Well, in the last video of my uh, um, series of uh, making homemade balusters, there's a total of uh, four videos. I promised that I would show you how to make a table like this out of scrap wood. Now, of all the balusters that I've been cutting, there's a lot of scrap wood that comes out of it. And this is made up of three, uh, 13 boards, uh, approximately an inch, inch thick, and it doesn't have to be an inch. And then another piece uh, of a, a smaller board to hold them on both sides. And they're glued to that, screwed to that. And then this one's actually screwed to my um, homemade uh, bench for my uh, miter saw. Uh, that it just rides along and in this case it actually screws in three different places and um, it's a really handy thing but what I'm going to use the next one for is actually uh, show you how to tie knots because I'm a volunteer at the Calvert Marine Museum as far as showing people how to tie different kind of knots, uh, uh, seagoing knots, scout knots and so on. So let me show you how to make this, okay? Alright, I have these upside down now, so I'm actually working on the bottom. I made these all to where they're, they're flat, as flat as I could, with a straight line. The other side might be a little uneven. That's okay, because you can saw it down a little bit if you want to. Okay, if it's going to be a showpiece. If it's a regular uh, workbench, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so I'm not even worried about that little hole that's right there. So uh, so the thing is, uh, yeah, you can uh, go take a saw and go right down it to make it even. You're going to need some large clamps to hold them together while you screw on the end pieces and uh, saw it down. All right, these are two very thin pieces of wood, different sizes. I'm not worried about it because it's going to be the back of it, okay? Uh, we're going to put one down here and one up there. It could be at the very edge if you wish or, at the, or, or just off the edge. It's up to you. All right, but uh, in any case, it's going to hold them into place. We're going to screw and glue these. All right, so for right now, make it true at the end here, and then take a pencil and score it underneath, and then take it over to your miter saw or whatever saw you have to cut the end off. All right, now that's cut to length. Um, next step is take wood glue and put it down. I put it on this piece first, and then put it straight down, clamp it, uh, and it's okay to work with that. Now what we do, do is take a saw, I mean a drill, and we're going to do our pilot hose. Now, here's the thing about screws now. We only have maybe a half inch to work with. All right, so the longer screw you use, you're going to have to take a Dremel on the other side to actually Dremel it down. So find some small screws. I'm going to need um, 70, 35, no, I'm sorry, I have 18. If I count 13, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I'm going to need 26 screws. I'm not going to be able to muster up 26 screws out of my pre pen, so I'm going to have to cut down some on the other side with the Dremel tool. But uh, definitely have to do some pilot holes because you do not want to split them. And when you're drilling, um, it will rock back and forth like this, but that's okay. Uh, just uh, be careful with Do not put your hands underneath when you're drilling. I mean, uh, I, I had a pretty bad incident a while back. You can see the scar right there underneath my uh, small finger. Okay, where I put a 7 16 drill, drill bit into this side here and uh, through metal. So you don't want to get go through that, all right? Uh, that, you can see that video. That's my very first video online when I took the stitches out. It was called Talking Hand. Not too many views on that, but if you want to see it, I'll put the link above. It's not that gross. It's just uh, I thought it was kind of funny. My very first video out of uh, what's 17, 1,500 videos or something like that now. Uh, so uh, anyway... You're going to see something now when uh, when these start screwing together, uh, these are going to actually come up and join this because they're not all true to this right now as far as hugging it right now. So loosen this up just a little bit. You want it to stay snug because you don't want these to be separated when you're doing it. All right, but you want to let these move. And I think if I tighten it some, all right, because you see the, air, the gap in there, all right, these will still move up. They'll, they'll still move uh, to join. So go ahead and uh, start screwing these screws. As you see, that's a variety of screws. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. This is all scrap parts. I took the clamp off. Uh, you see how far away those are on the other side, so I'm going to turn it around now. And these are all, all the way up against this is flat on this side. And the same thing will be on that side. It will be uneven on the other side, but you can always sand that down if you want to. All right, so these are done. I took clamp clamps off as glued and screwed. And now I'm going to switch it around, and we're going to make that side straight over there. Well, you can see uh, with the angle, I'm way off, 
as far as even. So what I'm going to do is draw a line straight through there and use a circular saw and go right down and make it straight. Oh, there's, there's my line. Remember to use your protective equipment when you're doing this. Uh, be, be careful, stay on the outside of the line. Not too shabby at all, all the chips on the ground. So now, same thing as I did on this side, cut your piece down to size on this with a strike underneath and do the same thing you did on the other side. Now I used all decade screw on this side. And you can see the split down there. Don't worry about that because the glue is going to hold it into place. All right now the one thing I need to stress is you do not want to use anything that has this part with no thread on because uh, it's not going to grip. So don't use those. Um, use If you can use uh, deck wood, deck, small deck screws, that's probably the best thing to do. You will have hey, to cut them. Right down. away you can remove all the clamps and, uh, and everything. All your tools can be put away to this point. This has been turned over and that's the piece of wood I put underneath. And these are what has to be filed down or dremeled down. Okay, and there might be a couple on that side too that's pretty sharp. Now if you notice, all the wood is not level. So this is where you're going to need a belt saw, a belt sander or some kind of sanding that you're going to be having to do to make this all level. I would like this to actually look pretty good because it will be a display uh, for, for strings. So uh, I think it's uh, going to add a little bit of character with the different colors. I'm not going to paint it. I'm not going to stain it. Okay, uh, even with the hole there, I'm not worried about that. That might actually come in handy uh, with, with the string. So um, let me go ahead and file these down. You don't need to see that, but uh, do what you can about filing them, dremel them down, cut them down. Make sure you get all the little pieces that come off. You want to have a bucket underneath catching them. All right, because you don't need to get that in your foot or in your tire or in the garage or something like that. Well, Dremel tools make it so easy, all right? You should be able to put your fingers over it and not cut yourself. Because if this is going to be a display uh, for kids, then uh, you don't want them to cut themselves. And I'm thinking about actually decorating around with some kind of a rope. Anyway, I have two up there also. And the rest were uh, smaller screws. So now the next thing to do is take a, a sander and really sand this thing down if you want it to be level. My, uh, my bench, my work table over here that I use is not sanded down because I don't care. It's a work table. All right, this is going to be a display, so I want to sand it down. Oh, there it is. I spent a lot of time sanding. There's some, still some high spots, but I'm not worried about that. You can tell the dark right there I got pretty good. I even got around the edges on the caps, on the sides, and on the bottom, on the very edges along the sides, I got two. So, uh, hey. You know, you can make, turn this into really anything. It could be a table for coffee, a table for playing cards. You could put legs on it, be creative, okay? But my other one, I actually put four screws in different areas so it stays right there while I'm working and it won't tip over or nothing like that. So um, this is going to be for displaying uh, knots and different uh, basic knots. So subscribe to see more, including that. When I'm done with it, I'll show you. I'm actually making uh, videos on knots. It's on my knots playlist. All right, subscribe to see more. Bye.